Hey everyone, Melissa Whaley here, and I wanted to do a quick video for you guys today to address a frustration and confusion that a lot of people have inside of Wave when you have both your checking account and your PayPal account syncing, and there's money moving all around, and you just don't know what the heck is going on. So I have some sample transactions here. This is my demo account. Um, so I want you to, to see here, this is something that you will see quite commonly, if, especially if you keep your PayPal balance at zero. So you don't keep like money in your PayPal account, you only use it to flow through. So say you have paid for a service and in this, particular example, I'm using Instapage, which is a landing page software. And the only way to pay for that subscription is through PayPal. So you have it set up and the money right here is coming out of your PayPal account. But you also have money coming out of your checking account and then you have money going into your PayPal account. And it's really confusing because you don't know how to categorize these or what to do with this. So this is going to make your life so much easier and um, reduce this frustration for you. So the first thing I want you to think about is how the money is flowing. So first we need to think, realize that your PayPal account at the time of this purchase had zero dollars in it. So there was no money preloaded into your account. So in order to purchase something with your PayPal account, PayPal had to first put money into the PayPal account to then spend the money out, right? So really, there are three transactions because this mo money moved three times. It came out of your checking account, it went into your PayPal account, and then the money was actually sent to the vendor or the person that you bought something from, from PayPal. So these seem kind of out of order, but that's because a lot of times it won't show up on your bank feed until after everything has gone through PayPal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna find a red and a green. And so the red we wanna look for is the one that's attached to your checking account. We're gonna select this transaction and this one right here which is $15 going into your PayPal account, we are gonna select that transaction. And then we're gonna use our magical button up here called the transfer button. And when you click this transfer button, all of a sudden, these get linked together. And now, this money, this is not an expense and this is not income anymore. It's just moving money from one account to another. If you click on the, details tab, you can see this green button appears. And that means that these two transactions have been linked together and they've been marked as a transfer. Because really all you're doing is moving money from one account to another. That's step one. And now because you've done that, those dollar amounts will not show up on your income statement, throwing off your income and expense totals. Then, now that we've marked those as a transfer, this is where you actually spent the money. So you used your PayPal account to pay this vendor. So this is where you actually can categorize the expense to go on your income statement, otherwise known as your profit and loss. So say we wanna count this as computer software. Now if I were to go, and these are the only things I have on 2016 right now, but if I were to go to my reports tab and pull my income statement, the only thing I would see for this time period is $15 going to computer software. Those other two items would not show up at all and that's how we want it. So that is your super awesome tip for the day on how to deal with PayPal and transfers and all of that. You wanna mark the first two as a transfer and categorize the third. If you guys love what you saw here today and you wanna know more about me and what I do, check out my website, whaleybookkeeping.com. The link is right below.